I'm going to step you through the process of buying crypto coins or tokens that Coinbase doesn't support with your Coinbase funds. This can apply to any exchange app, but I am going to use Coinbase in this example. And I'm going to be using Sharkzilla as the exchange to make this happen. Now, I like Sharkzilla because you don't need to sign up for an account or send them your personal information. They don't need any of that because all they do is receive and then exchange your tokens for you. Real quick, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the notifications bell to receive updates on any new videos and tutorials I create. Okay, besides a Coinbase account, all you need is another wallet that supports the tokens that you want to purchase. There's a lot of wallets out there, but my go-to wallets are Trust Wallet, Atomic Wallet, and Celsius. If I'm looking to hold certain coins for a while and make interest, I'll use either my Atomic or Celsius wallet, whichever one has the best interest available. In this case, I'm going to be exchanging USDC to Zillica, and I'm going to send my Zillica to my Atomic wallet because I can stake it there for 15% APY. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using my computer and swapping back and forth between Coinbase, Sharkzilla, and my Atomic wallet. But you can make the exchange just as easy on your mobile device, just as long as your Coinbase, wallet app, and web browser are on the same device. When you're ready to make the exchange, the process will be easier if you have all your apps up and ready to go, which I have already done here. Once you know how many tokens you'll be exchanging from Coinbase, go ahead and go to sharkzilla.io on your web browser. So again, in my case, I'll be exchanging USDC coins for Zillica. So in the top field, I select USDC coins since that's what I'm going to be sending from Coinbase. I already have 545 entered in for the amount I'll be exchanging, so make sure you enter in the proper amount that you'll be exchanging. In the second token, I enter ZIL since that's the token that I'm going to be exchanging my USDC for. If I'm good with the price, which I am, I've already done the math. I just click exchange now to go to the next step in the process. Here I enter my Zillica wallet address. To do that, I go ahead and tab over to my Atomic wallet, which I already have open to my Zillica tokens. To get the right address to receive the income of Zillica for this exchange, I simply click the receive button and then copy the Zillica address. Now I always double check to make sure that I do have the right token selected. The last thing you want to do is send a specific token to a different token address. Otherwise, I may never see those coins again. Now I tab back over to Sharkzilla and paste the address in the Zill recipients field. Another thing I really like about Sharkzilla is that it gives you an option to enter your outgoing wallet address in case something goes wrong with the exchange. If so, it will send your tokens back to Coinbase. So to get that address, I just tab over to Coinbase, which I already have open to my USDC tokens. And so likewise, I click on the receive address since I want my coins to be returned here if something goes wrong. Then I click on the copy button. Tab back over to Sharkzilla, paste the address in the refund address field. Now I've never personally had an issue with an exchange, but it's good to know that my tokens would come back to Coinbase if something does go wrong. Click next for the final step. Now Sharkzilla is ready to receive the USDC coins and make the exchange. Now I do a quick review and make sure the exchange is what I want, which it is, and so I click I have read and agree. Click next. The final step is to tell Coinbase where to send your tokens. In order to do that, you simply have to copy the to address provided by Sharkzilla. Then tab over to Coinbase. Again, I already have open to my USDC tokens. Click on the send tab. I'm going to click the USDC button to the right because I want to send the exact amount of USDC coins that I already established in Sharkzilla, which is important. Now paste in the send to address. Then I click continue. I do a quick scan to make sure I'm sending the right amount and the right token. So now I click send now. One last message pops up letting you know that this is irreversible. Which again, if there is a hiccup, Sharkzilla will send your coins back. So click send now. If you have two-way verification, which you should, Coinbase is going to send you a code via a text message. When you get the code on your phone, enter it into the verification field, which I just did. Click confirm, then click done. Boom, the transfer begins. Now the transfers I've done through Sharkzilla have never taken more than 10 minutes, but Sharkzilla does say it could take up to an hour. So don't panic if it takes a little while. If you do want to watch the transfer take place, you can tab back over to Sharkzilla. On the bottom of the exchange page, you'll see the three phases of the exchange. Awaiting payment, waiting for exchange, and send to your wallet. As soon as it receives the tokens from Coinbase, the first one will turn green. If you want, you can tab over to Coinbase and monitor the confirmations number. 
Sharkzilla will not receive the tokens until at least one confirmation takes place, which here you see one confirmation just happened. Now I tab back over and bang, the first two stages have already happened. Tokens have been received and now it's waiting for the exchange, which means that the process of exchanging my USDC to Zillica is taking place. When the third one turns green, it's on its way to my atomic wallet, which it just turned green so my Zill tokens are on the way. So now I can tab over to my atomic wallet and see if they've arrived. It usually takes a good couple of minutes for them to get there, sometimes as much as 10, so don't worry, they will show up. Sometimes I will go in and out of my token balance to see if it updates when I get back in, and there it is. So as I've already mentioned, I do like to stake my Zillica. So to do that, I simply go over to my staking tab on the left side of my atomic wallet, then click on Zill. You see that I already have 5,999 and some change already staked, but now I'm gonna stake what I just received. To do that, I simply click on stake, and that takes me to the next tab. I always go up and click on stake all just to make sure that they all get selected. And then I go down and click stake. Type in my password, click confirm, and then the process of staking begins. I do always copy the transaction hash and paste it into my notebook in case something goes wrong. Then go back to staking. Just like with the transfer, this could take up to 10 minutes or so for the staking to take place. And so I'm going to fast forward this. Bam! I'm staked in. You have to have at least six zills. I believe that's the number to stake. So anything under that will remain in your unstaked balance. Which, if I go back to my wallet and click on my Zillica balance, there is the remaining 4.9434 Zillas. There you go. I've successfully exchanged tokens from my Coinbase account for tokens that I cannot purchase inside of Coinbase. Now you can do this from any exchange and from any wallet. If you're ready to cash out or send some of your earnings back to Coinbase, you simply do the same process in reverse. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with someone that would find it useful.